Hello everyone, today is a video on how to replace or upgrade the hard disk in this Lenovo Idea Center. And its model number is F0BY and its MTM number is F0BY00K4UK. Product family is Idea Center all in one 300 23 ISU. Uh, it's a Core i3 6 gen and uh, has 8 gigs of RAM, but sadly, this one has a traditional hard disk in it, so it's really slow and um, painful to use. This back panel will, without undoing any screws, just pull downwards. Or it should. There we go, and that releases that. You can then slide this plastic back panel out of the way. Unusually for an all-in-one, they have made this so easy. The hard disk is visible and right there, and it just unclips. Let me move the camera so that you can see this closer. Here we are. There's a clip underneath here. I'm going to press that upwards and then pull the drive towards me, being careful because there's still a connector or a wire attached over there on the right hand side. So I pulled it towards me, now I've got it out enough, I should be able to undo this connector over here, being careful not to bend, so don't just yank at it because you will break the serial ATA connector or the connector itself, so I'm trying to get behind it might be easier if I can just about maneuver this hard disk out like that. There we go. Move the camera again so you can see the connector slightly better. So this needs to unplug. Let's see if I can maneuver that so you can see how that plugs in. That's mated there, so it needs to just come out like that. There we go, that's the original hard disk now unplugged in its caddy. And if you're going to be putting in just an SSD, it doesn't really matter about being in a caddy and all secure so that it doesn't rattle around because there's no moving parts in an SSD. So for what I'm going to do, I'm just going to plug the SSD in and maybe put the caddy without the hard disk back in there, but I'm not going to find a way to securely mount the SSD in this caddy because for an SSD it doesn't matter and because this isn't a laptop it's not going to be moved around so the uh, the drive potentially rattling while you're uh, moving the machine around, say moving it from one desk to another, isn't really going to happen often at all so there's not much point screwing the SSD in. It's up to you on that one. So what I'm going to do is, well there's two options for you, you can put an SSD in and then use a Windows install USB which you'll have to make either before you take the hard disk out or using another computer and then install Windows from fresh on the, um, the new SSD but it does mean that all your data will need copying over manually or you would have had to have backed it up and then you copy it onto it onto the new machine or the new SSD after or you can use a disk cloning tool to clone the hard disk onto the SSD and uh, then you don't have to have any changes to your data at all. I would recommend there used to be Macrium Reflect free for home use but that no longer seems to exist. They do still do a demo, a 30 day trial uh, for home use which you can definitely just clone the drive and then if you're never going to use it again you've used the 30 day trial and that works well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this using a cloning tool and the next thing you'll see is I'll be back and I'll be putting the SSD into the machine again. So see you on the other side. Here's another useful uh, tip to remove this, exist this hard disk from its existing caddy. You just use a bit of force to pull this pin out from there and then say that pin out from there. I'm just going to keep doing that to walk it up to the edge. And then 
I can lift it out of its caddy. That's the hard disk released. There's a metal shield there, which um, I'm not. Maybe I will put back into this caddy. How's it going to get? Yeah, it could be held within that caddy when I put the SSD in there. But okay, that's how you uh, remove the actual drive from the plastic caddy. Right, I'm back, and there's the SSD that I'm going to put in with the data on it. I did remove from the back of the hard disk the metal plate because mm. why not? Just in case somebody ever wanted to put a five and a half inch drive back into this thing in the future. So I'm hoping that I can click this in like that. That keeps that in place. Then I'm going to plug the SSD in, hope that that will slide into there, and then I can clip the, the bracket back into place as well. So SSD, going onto the serial ATA and power connector, slide that into the caddy, and as I say, it's an SSD, so it rattling around really isn't going to be a problem. This then goes back up into the machine, and then I'd hope push that into place. There we go, we have the SSD floating around in there and the caddy is still in the machine so if somebody did need to put a five and a half inch drive in they can still do that. Slide the cover back into, uh, back along horizontally into place and then vertically upwards That's now back in place as well. It's going to go and get the power lead for this machine and we can make sure that it turns on and works. Plug the power lead back in, it's going to move this camera back. And there we go, that's how you upgrade or replace the hard disk in this Lenovo Idea Center computer. If this video has been helpful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notification switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.